Yokoi Sensei or Aoki Sensei, you are now just in front of the, the image, so how about the okay. impression? Is it clear? Uh, it's very clear. I see. It almost looks like a DA image, but it's a flow. I see. I see. This is regular, and I hope you can appreciate the difference. Okay. And then uh, move to the new Evolved Edition type. This one. Big difference. Mm. This is Evolve. I see. Yes. Yeah. This is evolved. Perfect step. Perfect step. Perfect step. Very easy to find out the tip of the wire. Like this. Alpha Evolve technology have comprises of three things. Alpha Evolve imaging enhances visualization and reduces or removes the need for DA in, in some of the procedures that you do. The DDS provides faster results with no dose penalty because you don't need to do anything, it's all fluoroscope to enhance the stents and balloons for coronary intervention. The echo fusion improves the workflow and aids clinical decision making. Now these technologies continue to grow and as they grow, the wider clinical implication of this technology will continue to develop. ボボルブイメージングによって投資の画質向上が得られましたので従来の撮影を投資収集に置き換える撮影レスインターベンションの評価を行っておりますあのインターベンションにおいてはもう投資画像っていうのはやっぱり C なんですよねそれはもう診断もそうだし治療もそうなんですけど血管壁血管の立体的構造がすごく見やすくなってますしワイヤーの先端のトルクっていうのがすごく見やすいその動きが分かりやすいので。以前よりもすごく安全にこうあの病変部を越えて気象までスライドワイヤーを持っていけてるようにと思いますエボルブイメージに関しては我々も最近使わせていただいていて線量を落としてもかなりいい画質は得られるようになったので実際今 30% 落とした画像ということでそれをデフォルトとして使ってるんですけど画質に関してはまあ今通常の PCI でも十分頼る画像ですので。In contrast, uh, the light side panel is uh, identical low dose setting processed by Canon's AI technology. As you can see, even with low dose fluoroscopy, uh, stunning images were obtained. Uh, the AI suppressed the noise in real time to the uh, greatest ex extent uh, possible. The uh, next benefit from AI processing is high contrast depiction. So uh, Canon's next generation image processing will employ not just AI technology, uh, but also multi-frequency processing to optimize noise conditions. The uh, contrast to noise ratio uh, measures how much the key key details in an image illuminate in comparison to the unfavorable background noise. And the channel increased by nearly 2.1 times due to Canon's latest technology. What is DDS? DDS is Dynamic Device Stabilizer. So Dynamic Device Stabilizer, what it does it, it can be used for fluoroscope. It also can be used for digital acquisition. You just will get bet, much better imaging. What it does is it works only on these two dots of the balloon. So the imaging has been constantly taught to learn the two dots of the balloon. As soon as you see anything two dot, it can be a balloon or a stent, it will stabilize. See the heart is moving in the background, but the stent doesn't move. So that is what it does. So immediately it will stabilize the two dots and will enhance the image and make it a little bit magnified for you as well. All of this happens by just pressing the pedal with no post-processing time. It literally happens within the second for you to run your lab. Now, do you want to use it or not? It's your choice. There are two screens here. One screen is your fluoroscopy screen. The second one will be your DDS screen. It'll run in parallel. You don't want to look at it. You can carry on the way you don't normally do your case. But if you want to, you can look at it and enhance the procedure as you go through. Pretty much see, immediately sees these two dots. 
stabilizes everything around this area and then and but this is what you are currently working with this is what you see in your screen in the lab this is what you get when you, you have DDS it will immediately stabilize it enhance the image and then once you have deployed the stent when you do post dilatation again this is what you currently work with but this is what you will be working with there is no delay there is no extra radiation you just keep going in the cat lab and you will actually in increase your workflow much better now we can marry this high definition technology to device dynamic device stabilization or DDS mode in this mode the cardiac motion is eliminated the stent image is enhanced and the stent is no longer moving with the heart but is rather stabilized on the screen so that you can place your balloon within the stent without accounting for the motion of the heart this was developed using a robust algorithm using deep learning technology, artificial intelligence. And then this works in both fluoroscopy mode as well as that digital angiography mode. This is a very smooth workflow. You can toggle from fluoro to DA if you want to, but there is no special radiation dose mode that is required. Now, a very cool idea as a future application would be as coronary drug eluting balloons will be coming onto the market in the United States we know we need to know where to place these devices if we're treating instant restenosis where do we need to treat in order to uh, re-expand that stent if we're going to deliver drug where do we need to deliver the drug we need to deliver it precisely and then not outside the margins so that we don't cause further dissection. So with this uh, digital device stabilization mode by Canon, we're going to be able to clearly see the stent and deploy the drug eluding balloon to deliver the appropriate therapy. So the second component of my talk is to show the echo fusion technology. Now echo fusion is something that is not new to Philips. If you all have had Philips lab, they had something called the echo navigator. And then the Siemens has the two fusion and the Canon is currently coming into the market with the echo fusion. What are the differences in some of these technology? All of these technology has 2D fusion, but the Siemens 2D fusion does not give you the live image. You can only do dots or you can draw a valve when it comes up onto the screen. The new version 2 will come with some live 2D images, but at the moment for commercial use, it is still static dots. Now Canon comes into the market directly with bringing the image into the cat lab and you will actually see the image on the screen at the same time. And because this is AI intelligent process, so people who are used to Philips, which I have now had Philips uh, Echo Navigator for 10, 15 years in my cat lab, you know you need to zero the bed, you need to go and do orthogonal planes, and the bed height can't change through the procedure, then you will carry on with your echo fusion. Now if you change your bed, you need to go back and zero. Now that is changing with the new Philips technology, but that is how it used to be. With this being an artificial intelligence, it actually looks at the probe and will constantly chase the probe so you don't need to worry where your bed is. It will actually find you and it will give you the image. That is the advantage of the AI technology. So here is a balloon mitral valvular plasty. You can see the echo. Now you see the soft tissue is come on to the radiation. So you see that in your live screen, it makes it much easier. Your workflow is much easier when you see the image to do this.